Now, good, e good evening, everybody. A beautiful evening here. It's great to have this time of the year now where you can make videos late into the evening, especially when the sun is shining. We're now the 14th of May, and I'm just back from Clare. Uh, so I came up to see the cattle. I had my son looking after things and I was away. But just a little update now on uh, where I'm at and what I've been doing or where the cattle are. If you notice now, on the last video, it was down there in that little area there that the cows started their proper summer grazing uh, of this season. Now they were down there, I moved them across. I did that in five days. Now that could have lasted me two weeks, but I did it in five days. I moved them fast and I, uh, I got them up to high ground here. So that was Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So Thursday, I brought them up this lane here and I skipped these two fields here. Now I skipped them two fields there for a reason. One is that it has gone to seed and I want to try and keep ahead of the seed. The field that I'm standing in at the minute hadn't as much. And also, I needed enough ground to do them for two or three days. So I'll just run around here now. There's the cattle over there. Now, I made a video earlier on and I made a mess of it. So this is video two that I'm gonna post. I'm not gonna post the last one because I don't know what I was talking about. But anywho, this is the place now where they've been for the last two days. There's lovely grass in here and it hadn't gone to seed as much. So I'm going to get them to eat this tight. They think I'm going to move them this evening, but I'm not. Uh, so they're a little bit annoyed at me. But anyhow, there's lots here. Um, I'm going to let them eat this a bit tighter, move them in the morning, and then I'm going to get the topper out. This is a place that never got topped. So I'm going to top this. It's a kind of a hilly area. I'm going to top this rushes here and it kind of is a bit of a steep slope there. I'm going to top it too as well. I'm going to use the quad and my little uh, Logic flail mower, I think it's called, the mulcher. I have it set high, so I'm not going to cut it down too low. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing it. It should grow back well. I meant to do it last year. I didn't get a chance. I had a quad that was broken down and away fixing and I couldn't get work on it. So that's the situation. So here's the cattle here now. The plan is, anyhow, if I just explain, I'm gonna move them through the farm. So let me just show you this place again now. Down below, right, that is gonna be my priority field. I'm gonna move the cattle all the way through the farm and keep a watchful eye on that lower place. And as soon as it's ready, I'll stop where I am and bring them right back down to where I started and leave as much as the farm untouched and keep the first few fields in that vegetative state where the grass is lush and green and growing and not going to seed. <coughs> so that's basically the plan. Yeah. I didn't do this last year. Last year I just ran them through the farm and hammered the whole thing down. But this year I'm going to try and see can I save more grass for winter time this way. It's slightly different, uh, but still regenerative. So last year I ran through the farm, battered all the grass down, uh, extended my rotation out to 60 days and sometimes longer, and uh, come back then. And a lot of the time the grass was gone over mature. So this year now I'm going to try and keep it uh, keep it lush, keep it green, and allow the rest of it that I'm not getting to eat. Let it go mature and let it let it lie there. I'll, I'll get it again when I need it at the back end of the season, or if you have a drought and grass stops growing or whatever, it's there and it'll be it. So they're here now. Anyhow, let me just walk in a bit closer. They're all here now at this side of the hill now. I don't know why they're giving out. They're only give it out because they're used to being pampered. So I'm going to let them in behind that, uh, in behind them trees now tomorrow. If I can press pause here now, I'll walk over and I'll show you what they're going on to tomorrow. Uh, where's the pause button? Here we go. So just bear with me one minute. Now, one sec now. 
No, don't go into that. That is tall, lush, and in its four or five or six leaf stage. Let me just pull this. There we go now. That's what they're coming on to, and no seed head. I want to keep the whole farm like this for most of the year. Now, it has gone to seed in areas, but, uh, that's the plan. And uh, fertilizer free, chemical free. Sunlight just. So look, this is just a quick video anyhow. Um, I'm gonna get topping in there tomorrow. I'll do a video after that and see what it looks like afterwards. And uh, we'll see how our plan works out. So for now, I'll say good luck and goodbye. And if you like these videos, you can subscribe for the crack. Let me see what the cattle are now. That's them there now. So anyhow, we'll talk to you soon. I'm out of breath. I'll post this anyhow. So we'll talk to you later. Bye, bye, bye.